We didn't realize we're alive, but we are. It works. It works like a charm. Haley, how does the audio sound? We sound okay? That's good. Sweet. Right. Trying a little differently here today on Surf Talk Tuesday. We tried amping up our technological skills, didn't we? Yeah, we'll, we didn't amp up our brain technological comprehension skills. So. That's right. So what was the topic today? We had two topics for discussion. Well, three. Oh, there's three. Yeah. Okay. What are the three? There's finding your fitness. Okay. There's finding a place to find your fitness. Okay. And then there's your mustache. All right. So in review, find your fit. 2021, and then we also have where are you going to find that fitness at next year, and then also how horrible is my mustache. Please feel free to comment on a 1 through 10 how bad my mustache is for November. But if you remember, save a bro, grow a mo. Wow, there you go. Fantastic. All right, guys, welcome to Gravity and Oxygen Fitness here. My name is PC. I'm with Dylan Foss. We have Christine and Haley with us as well. We figured now as we're trending toward 2021, it's been quite the most interesting 2020, hasn't it? To say the least. For sure. Yes. And in these trying times, we can make the assumption that many people have somewhat lost their personal fitness over the past eight months. Would that be accurate to assume? Uh, without a doubt. A lot of people are struggling with that. So what are some things fitness-wise, Dylan, um, from a physicality point that you feel some people have lost this year? Um, I think first and foremost, uh, the ability to go somewhere and comfortably train has been the biggest thing. So as a result, you lose things that are, you know, inevitable to have at a gym that are based around strength and resistance. So they lost their tangible gym, so they don't have access to that equipment, simply yeah. said. Okay. Correct? So in that, if they don't have things that can get them stronger with external equipment, they don't necessarily have that place where they can effectively do yoga, they don't have the Pilates reformer because the Pilates place is closed down for a few months. So essentially you feel like you've lost that. Yeah. How about from a, a, a body aesthetics or um, – your metrics standpoint, what do you think some people have lost or decreased? Um, I mean, overall, calorie burn is probably down, and as a result, it's not what they've lost, it's what they've gained. Correct. So we've, we've heard the term quarantine 15 because it sounds pretty uh, pretty easy to rhyme, right? Yeah. So people have talked about the new term quarantine 15. So they feel that they have been able to be as physical, um, burn less calories, and thus they've gained weight because of it. Right. And then, you know, not having a tangible place to work out as well comes with that sense of community. Whether you're at a big box gym, you walk in and you see the same people at 5 o'clock and you work out around them, you might not do the same thing. Or you come to a private facility and you have a class and that kind of stuff has been lost as well. So that's been tough. That community, uh, that, that culture of being in a group setting, that further motivates you to be uh, uh, competitive with yourself and also with the rest of the people in that class. So we can say overall there's a lot of things that may have been lost from your personal fitness during 2020 in these unchartered times. So what do you think uh, what do you think some of the fitness needs are getting it next year that people hopefully can feel like they can return to normalcy? Um, I think a sense of purpose and a, a, a benchmark or a goal to reach for is, is kind of necessary. It, it is needed to have a sense of I know where I am, but where am I going? Well, I think it's important to know we may have missed that step in talking about a whole point of what we have lost. How about events? So beyond just working out in a group community, they've missed the opportunity to run and organize 5K, um, perhaps do a mud obstacle course, right? Some other kind of physical event. So they lost that capacity to find an actual metric of accomplishment based on all the training they did for that. So they, they don't have the organized triathlon to do. Then all they've been doing is they're swimming, they're running, they're biking, but there's no endpoint to that destination. Do you feel kind of lost? What's your motivation to continue doing this training if there's no destination? Right. So in review, we talked about we've lost the physical metrics, we've lost our sense of community, and perhaps those events to to um, validate all our hard work. Right. Right. Absolutely. So now we want to talk about uh, perhaps in these shorter times that people are now looking for perhaps a chance to pivot. Maybe they want to refocus their goals. Perhaps some events will open up again, um, and then also maybe they're looking for a new home. We do know, unfortunately, in the local area, there have been some fitness facilities that have closed down, and perhaps you were a loyal member of said facility, and that's tragic because we want to see no one fail. We want to see all of our colleagues succeed. So now you have to look for a new place to find as your second home for them, right? So we have a lot of things lost, and hopefully we now have new things to gain as well. So what can we talk about um, finding the right fit of the right um, gym for you, the right facility for you to talk about that? So here's that double uh, entendre, I think. The second part it. of the find your fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So um, we talked about what we need from our own physical standpoint, but 
from a mental standpoint, knowing where to do so, um, you definitely want to find a place, and we've done turf talks on this before, that have that sense of community, that may put on events, and that may be scientifically driven to get you to a goal or to reach certain benchmarks, not just maybe sweat driven. Right? Absolutely. I totally agree. So I believe in the past two months, we've had a 30-day uh, 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 weight loss challenge of no sugar, no alcohol, no processed food. We've also had yoga here multiple times. We had our DecaFit event. So that was a, that's a great way since we figured no other event company is hosting anything outside of the walls of a gym. Well, how about the gyms themselves hosting an event of their own to cater the value to the membership? So we feel that um, you know we host and really worked hard to provide an event to give you a sense of accomplishment as a destination point. And tragically, if you're not taking your uh, the opportunity to maximize that value that your gym is putting on, well then then how do you quantify your mission? Your, your overall fitness value. Uh, so those are things that I think that you might see as a transition in fitness that facilities themselves will hold the events as opposed to waiting for some outside independents doing it. And we've seen that you know in the area we have a lot of great gyms and a lot of other people are doing that as well. So um, regardless of, of what you might be looking for, there are plenty of places um, to go. Uh, I think that should be noted as well. Absolutely. So if you're looking to find your right fit in 2021, find out maybe what you what you think you had lost during 2020 from a physicality standpoint, whether it be cardiovascular endurance, perhaps it was um, an aesthetic appearance of muscle build, perhaps it was strength. Maybe you lost your mobility because now you're sitting down watching Netflix all the time and you're binge watching. So whatever that personal fitness is for you, how do you regain it, and then where do you regain it at? I certainly recommend finding a place that provides the idea to quantify your success and also regain that sense of community, and perhaps even better, hold the events to do that as well. Yeah. What happens if you lose the rest of your facial hair and only keep a part of it? Boy, you stumped me on that one. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, right. I'm going to find the rest of my, my facial hair as well. Um, so that's the idea. There are many, we're here in Boca Raton, Florida. And there are tons of great fitness entities. And I think that Boca Town has so much great fitness that we can rival a large metropolitan city. So even if you don't choose us, then certainly find some place where you can find as your second home, gain that sense of self community as well. Um, we have going on at Gravity and Auction, a program that we've held annually for the past four years called Good to Great. We had an incredible one this past year in 2020 before the pandemic really hit us hard. So essentially it's a two month um, transformation challenge where we offer um, team competition on Saturdays, team blue versus team yellow. We do some kind of accountability uh, benchmark testing, and then we also do weekly um, weekly exercises and a com- uh, commitment accountability workout and nutritional coaching and, and on that as, as well. Exactly. So it's a multifaceted, multidimension program looking uh, that will help all of you guys get all the fitness goals that you need to help you achieve. So that's what we have from our call to action from a keynote standpoint. And if you guys are having me still listening and you are really staring at my mustache because it is hypnotic, let us know on a scale of 1 to 10 your thoughts on the mustache. So be a lookout for every successive turf talk. Wait, one, two, one, one. So one is being bad and then 10 being an incredible mustache. <laughs> you can go ahead and do that as well. And even if you're not watching us live, you can chime in afterwards if you're watching this for sure. But we know for sure for the next five or six weeks on our Turf Talk Tuesdays, we'll be discussing all of the programs in the sense of community that Gravity and Auction is providing leading into 2021, as we hope to be a main staple of fitness here in East Boca Raton. You're going to see development of the outside area even further, and I'm also gaining more value to our membership as well. Any last points you want to say? Yeah, I mean, if you're, you know, one of those people that was listening and a lot of this resonated, then definitely be on the lookout for everything we're pumping out about Good to Great 2021, how to get involved, and um, how we can help you find your fit. Absolutely. Beyond just offering great group classes and personal training, we're doing lots of special training as well. We have our bro lift, which is two times a week in the morning, specifically strength training for men. We have our strong her program, which we hope to expand with women's only strength training. We also have we've got a lot of success lately with our youth training. Our team is working with youth soccer and youth baseball. We can handle any sport and intelligently train your adolescents to number one prevent injury and then to enhance their ability to, uh, to become uh, even better young athletes. Yeah. So all the services are available on our website, gravityandoption.com. And check us out on our social media on Instagram and Facebook. All right. As always, we appreciate your attention and your uh, your input. And uh, we hope to see you on next week's Surf Talk Tuesday with our entire staff. In the meanwhile, think about what it takes to find your fit 2021. And uh, as always, good energy. Always good energy.
Adeus.